Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Hi everyone, I know I've been MIA, I've been on hiatus. You guys, I just wanna first off start by saying, I apologize if you feel as though I've neglected you. That is not the case. I had to take a step back from social media, just from everything. Like I needed time for self-reflection, I'm on this, new journey of self-love, self-healing. And so it required me to just take a step back from everything that's going on around the world because sometimes social media can throw too much in your face at one time and it's constant every single day. So I just wanna come on here and apologize and say that I am back and I'm going to make a commitment to at least posting once or twice a week. I've seen all of your requests and do look forward to more ASMR, ear cleaning, lock videos, and I'm probably gonna spruce it up a little bit and add some lifestyle, some cooking, and some motivational videos. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. If you have any other suggestions on what type of content you would like to see from me, please place it below in the comments. So today is my 14 month lock update. Yeah! You guys, I am 14 months a lot. Just wow. Time is going by really fast and I say this in every video, but it truly is. I remember the first day I installed, after I completely installed my micro locks and then look at where we are now. 14 months later. Guys, today I'm going to discuss a few changes and yeah, just give you guys an update on what my locks, how they're doing, what I'm doing. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So you guys, I am 14 months locked. Let me get a little closer. And so there are a few changes. I've decided to semi-freeform. What is semi-freeforming? Semi-freeforming is when you go several months without a retwist. The purpose of the retwist is more so to cultivate your locks, making sure that the loose hairs or the hair is going in each lock as you would like. So you would retwist maybe every three, every four months. So that would be what? Three to four times a year. So that is the decision that I've decided to make. And speaking of which, I did my last retwist was in January. We are now in April, so it has been three months since my last retwist. And you guys, look at this. Look at the fullness. Just look at the fullness. Look at the fullness. I mean, my locks look completely different from three months ago and I'm actually gonna insert a picture over here so we can do like a side-by-side -side comparison because y'all, tell me my locks don't look fuller, look healthier, look a little bit thicker than what they were three months ago. I'm gonna leave a pic right here. That is one of the major changes, deciding to semi-freeform. Let me tell you guys, it has been a rocky journey for me and I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had moments where I was really considering combing out my lock. There were moments where I didn't feel that I was feminine enough, like I, I felt like I didn't look feminine, I felt like I didn't look as beautiful and it's not that I'm saying that locks are not beautiful it's just that I was just so used to having my hair styled a certain way for so long I, I was a loose natural for over 10 years so I had every style and my hair was practically done all the time I mean everything was sleek put in place you know uh, polished and it just really it just really made me take a look at myself in the mirror so I, I went through a little bit of that um, I also almost considered combining my locks one last time. It's just, I was going through a lot, you guys, but I, right now, today, after a few months of just going through what I had to go through, I've decided to just stay where I am, continue align my locks to do what they do. I don't manipulate my locks. I do not style. The most that I'll do is I will put my hair up. 
I will grab a scrunchie and just put it up like this. Like literally, I don't do anything else. I retwist about every two to three months. However, I'm thinking about going as far as four months and see how it does. And then if I can go five to six months, I'll try it. Um, just, you know, something different. I will say since I've gone longer without a retwist, my roots tend to marry each other. So I have to, you know, separate them a little bit more frequently and that's normally when i wash my hair so moving on to washing my locks i wash my locks once a month i was going maybe two to three months without washing which is not bad considering that my scalp has done a 360 it has turned over completely and my scalp is is, is the healthiest that it's ever been i have not experienced any dandruff any flaking, barely any itching. So I've decided to go to wash my locks at least once a month. Speaking of which, I have a new product that I've been trying out and I absolutely love it. Let me go get it, give me one second. All right, I'm back. So I'm testing out this new shampoo and it is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. I've seen a lot of Loose Naturals rave about this product. What made me gravitate towards this is because it says with aloe. And they also have another one with rose, which I also purchased, but I have not tested it out yet. So I'll make sure to do a review on that. So far, as you can see, look how much I've used. And I love the nozzle. I think it was the nozzle for me. It was the nozzle for me. And the fact that this shampoo is more on the clear side, so yeah, and I love the smell of it. It's not too strong. It's like a very nice, delightful smell. And honestly, it lingers. Like the smell of the shampoo was in my locks for at least like a week. So I really love that. Like whenever I went to go shake my hair or take my hair out of my bonnet or run my fingers through my locks, I could smell it. So I really like that. I do plan on reusing this bottle even if I have to make my own shampoo or dilute it. However, I got to do it. Yes. This shampoo also does not leave any buildup. It easily rinses out. Yeah. And I've also came up with a regimen to strengthen my edges, okay? I'm actually gonna make a separate video, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I've been able to grow back my edges fully to the point where I was able to start a new lock. This is a baby. This is a baby lock right here this screw back all of this screw back so I'm gonna have a tutorial on that on what I do it's going back in very nice and full so yeah you guys that's pretty much it like nothing else has really changed like I said I wash once a month I retwist every three months but now I'm gonna try to stretch for four months and I also I also continue to use my moisturizing spray, which is rose water, aloe vera juice, and essential oil, well actually a couple of essential oils, and distilled water, mostly distilled water. That's all that I have for you for today. Let me know in the comments below where you are in your lock journey. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a 360 now to show you what my roots and my locks are looking like. Let's get all up in my locks. My look, 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 look. <laughs>
So yeah, you guys, that's all that I have for you for today. I will say, I don't think I've noticed any much of a difference when it comes to the length. I just feel like my locks are still forming. Like they're not forming, but they're still shrinking and still molding into itself, like each lock. So I really don't see any much of a difference in length. I will say that my locks are not as frizzy as they once were. I've been experiencing less frizziness. I will say that. And like this lock right here, this one is mature. I mean, it's pretty much solid. Like look at the way it hangs. I feel the weight of this one. So I know growth is happening. You know, I just don't really see it. And maybe it's because I'm not retwisting as often, but that's okay because honestly, I'm all about health. Health, health, health. I really miss you guys. It's been a long time and don't worry, I'm back. I'm good. I'm in good health. My family is good. We are we are doing just fine. And I just want to say thank you for all of your support. It has not gone unnoticed. I read all of your comments. I may not get back to you right away, but trust me, I see them all. And thank you. This completes today's video. And I will catch you in my next one. Love you guys.